This video is brought to you by Skillshare, which offers over 18,000 classes. Sign up for only 99 cents for three months. Link in the description. Today's project is an LED desk lamp made with a bent PVC pipe for the arm and walnut for the base and the top. I really wanted to utilize PVC in a different way, and I think it turned out pretty neat. So let's go over how it's made. The first part of this build was really the PVC arm. So just creating a jig for bending the arm. Now to actually bend the PVC, I'm using the hot sand technique, and I made a video about this cool hack a while back, so you can check that out if you're interested. For the base and the top, we're using some really beautiful walnut. Because this piece was so small, I utilized my planer as a jointer by hot gluing it to a flat piece of plywood and running it through on both sides. Then just cutting both the top and the base to a round shape. Using a fly cutter here to mark out the location and the depth of the Lexan insert for the inside of the top piece of the lamp. And then using the hole saw to mark the depth of the smaller inner dimension that will hold the lights. Then the idea was to carve out the inner section, so just eating that away with a Forstner bit. and then cleaning that up using this hand router, which is such a cool tool. Next up, the Lexan. Using the fly cutter again to fully cut out the insert, but notice I did remove the bit because I did not want a hole in the plastic. And then sanding that to get more of a diffused look. So the LED strip will fit on the inside here. So arranging the lights to point this way to have more of a diffused look so that you avoid seeing the individual lights. Then drilling the hole to place the PVC and I needed to make it a little bit larger to fit properly. Here's an idea of how it will all connect with a pipe fitting into the base and the top piece. To create a cool look, I really wanted a color that kind of pops, so spraying this here with a bright glossy red. And it needed a couple of coats. Just soldering the wires to the strip and using a 12 volt LED strip here. Turns out it needed a little bit more glue than just the sticky back, and hot glue works great for this. And then the Lexan fits perfectly inside. To cover the edge, we cut up a piece of plastic and spray painted that red as well. And to attach everything, epoxy. Now for the base here, putting a switch in. So the idea here is to chisel this part out on the underside and then keep this round so this just fits right in there. And just carving out some space on the underside. And this hole here is for the barrel plug. Then just connecting everything underneath, so the switch and the wire coming in from the pipe and the barrel plug. Mm -hmm. 
Then doing a little bit of soldering to secure it all. Using epoxy again to secure the pipe to the foot. And this stool here was a pretty perfect height to use for support as it was drying. To create a nicer transition between the pipe and the wood, I'm cutting a bigger piece of PVC on the bandsaw. Then taping the base first and using hot glue to secure the PVC to the wood and also added some hot glue to fill in the gap. Then spraying that with the same red paint. Create a soft bottom and to hide the wires using some nice veg tanned leather here and just securing that with hot glue. Finally, some shellac to finish the wood. And there you have it! I just love that you can create an arm like this out of PVC piping and then paint it any way you'd like. I mean, of course you could bend it into any shape really, but I think it works quite well as an arm like this. What do you guys think about this project? Like always, let me know in the comments below. Now, I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video, which means I can create these types of videos and share it with you guys. Now, Skillshare is a video learning platform which offers over 18,000 classes in all kinds of subjects that you can sign up for. And throughout the month of January, the price to sign up is only 99 cents for three months, which is a great deal. You may remember that I mentioned in my Ryzen computer video that we're switching editing system to the Adobe Suite. So I've been taking a Premiere Pro class at Skillshare, which has been very useful. Of course, they offer a whole world of classes in many different subjects. So no matter whether you're interested in photography or why not animation, perhaps you'd like classes related to business or technology or learning different languages. I don't know. Either way, you have a ton of options. So use the link in the description below. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this project. It was a lot of fun to work on and I think it's going to get a lot of use. So yeah, let me know what you guys think and I'll see you soon. Bye.